This is a fully playable version of Minecraft with no game engine. It's purely a video model rendering pixels in real time. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang recognized that we might get AI generated games in less than 10 years. This came out on 21st March 2024 and in just a few months we already have a full fledged a game that you can play within your browser and every single frame is generated. It's not a predefined game based on your key actions it's going to define a create frames on the go. It's quite insane. It's unbelievable. But that is a reality in which we are here today. This is called Oasis. This is the first playable AI generated game. So the company has partnered with something called Decapted, but the main company is called Etched. They have released a technical report. They have managed to release the model as well. So it's very insane. And uh, you can see the gameplay. So it's a, it's a, it's a Minecraft-ish game. So if you see here, you can jump, you can use a tool, uh, you can drop, you can do a bunch of things, you can go up and down and all these frames, every single frame that you see here is actually generated based on your keyboard input. So if you want to jump up, it's going to probably generate the next frame. If you want to jump down, it's going to generate the next frame. So none of these are pre-coded. It is all created, generated through vision transformer and also diffusion transformer. So transformers, once again, proof that this is incredibly a nice technology and I'm here to see, I mean, like I'm a big fan of state uh, space models like Mamba and all the other things, but Transformer is proving again and again that this is a technology that probably is going to take us much far ahead uh, in terms of, you know, AI frontier than anything else that humans have ever built. They are also building their own chip. That means that this game will be much faster on their own chip and it is hand it is designed to handle massive video models even video generation that is running 4k with 100 billion parameter models uh, it's an exciting time that they claim that most of the internet traffic at least like 70 percent of the internet traffic is video and most of that is going to be ai generated i'm not sure how much we are going to enjoy if those are going to become ai generated but if you want to go understand more details about how things are working you can go read the blog post which i linked in the youtube description they also released a technical uh, uh, paper, technical report. You can go see how they have defined it. It's not just the frame is uh, AI generated, everything. The game rules, the graphics, the physics of it, like when you jump something. So technically in simple language, there is no game engine. There is only a foundation model and that foundation model is a transformer based model. And uh, like I said, they've got their own uh, chip which can run 4K. And um, yeah, it's an exciting time. The model is available. You can just go get a a access. And then once you do that thing, then you will have access to the model. Wait, I don't think we'll have compute to run this. It'll be pretty interesting to see if we can run this on our any consumer grade hardware. But for now, you can go here and then play. So let's go select one of this map. So I might uh, select the rugged coastline. And after you see the rugged coastline, I've got a bunch of keys that I can use. I've got a mouse that I can use for 360 degree W to go forward. I'm going forward as you can see. This is this is like literally happening while I'm I'm recording this video. A, I'm trying to turn left. D, I'm trying to turn right. S, I'm trying to come back. And space, I'm trying to jump up. So let me go to the steps and then try to take the steps. Just going. I'm going. This is all in real time. I'm not editing this video. I'm trying to jump. And going again, oh, I have to jump, it seems. Yeah, there was there were steps, I had to jump. Jump, 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 unbelievable. I don't know what kind of hardware they're running this, but the fact that they're running this at scale, I guess at this point of recording, there might be a lot of people trying to play this thing. But the fact that a lot of people are playing this and still this is working at scale, I don't think the resolution is super high. I mean, it's Minecraft. Why do you bother about super high resolution? But still, it's pretty interesting to see what Jensen Huang said has become true in like a couple of months. Uh, in fact, like it's a game you can play. It's not a paper. It's not just a demo. It's not a wait list. You can literally go play. I've got like one minute left today, I think. So I don't want to um, waste more of this um, compute that others can use. So I'm going to just go and just hit it. Wow. Wow. Am I breaking something? I'm supposed to break. Okay. Pretty bad with Minecraft. So I'm going to try something, hit something. Q is to hit. Okay. Nothing is happening, but I think it's exciting time. We This is my mouse. So when I use my mouse, I can get to three C360. 
it will be i i guess maybe this is like 256 by 256 so it's pretty interesting pretty fast to generate the image so we have got a lot of uh, these diffusion transformer models that can generate images in near real time so i guess this could be using something like that using the keystrokes using uh the existing frame as an extension for the other frames but despite all these things deploying this at a scale and oh in the game sorry thank you so much i enjoyed the game so you can download the gameplay as well oh that's very interesting so despite all these things the fact that they've deployed this you can go play a full fledged game that generates uh, physics game rules and also the game frames actually without a game engine just a foundation model is pretty awesome you are literally living in the future of science fiction and thank you so much for watching the video see you in another video happy prompting